Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the course of problem review multiples. So let's read the problem statement first. And so like pause the video carefully to reach the solution because there is something. If you miss anything in between, you will not be able to solve this problem. So I I'm saying that you should watch this video completely. So let's suppose we are given integers n and m, and we have we do the set S, and we are also given a set Q of size m, which is a subset of set S, and we are required to convert S into Q using the following operations. So we have to choose an integer k such that there exists a multiple of k in S, and remove the smallest multiple of k from S. This incurs a cost of k. Okay. Let's suppose we have s as one, three, four, and six, and if we take k equal to two, so we can delete the smallest multiple of two present in s, which is four, and two is not here, so we can't do that. So that will be the cost will be two here. Okay. So we have to do this. So let's see some example. So initially we have five and three. So what we have is like one, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So we have to. Achieve this one, three, five. So this is the initial set. So let's say we can choose k equal to four, and four is present here. So cost of deleting this will be four. Okay. Next, we have to delete two also. So two. And we have two multiple of two here also, so cost of deleting two will be here two. Okay, because this is the minimum, now. so total cost will be this six. Okay. So let's see one more example to understand clearly. So let's suppose we have four and two, like one, two, three, and four, and we have to achieve this one and three. So we have to delete four and two. So let's suppose if we choose two here, so what is the smallest multiple possible of two? It is two itself, so two. And now we will take four. Okay. So what is the maximum possible? Sorry, minimum possible. Minimum possible is four, because two is not there. So we will add four. Answer will be here. Okay. So let's see this case also. Three, one, and two. We have. We have to achieve this, and what we have one, two, three. So, what we can do? We can choose this element first. So three, the multiple is three, and the minimum possible is also three. So we will add three, then one. So equal to four. That is the case. And here you are noticing. Sometimes that I am taking from backward. So why backward? So the main reason to take large number initially is because we needed to return the maximum possible cost. That is the main motive here. So if we take from starting, that will return the minimum. But we don't need it. We need to return the maximum one. Okay. 
So for this reason, I am taking the maximum integer first. So answer will be that. Then adding the minimum, then total. That will be that will return the maximum possible answer. So how can we solve this problem? For solving this problem, what we have to do? We have to compute the sum of one to to n. And how can we do that? We have n cross n plus one. By two, this is one. Total will be this t, and the sum we have in cube, the input array, this this array. Sorry. So here, if we have five, then this will be fifteen. Okay, and the sum will be nine. So fifteen minus nine, six will be the answer. And in this case, we have four, so four five to twenty, and twenty divided by two is ten, and the sum here is one and three four, so ten minus four answer will be six here. Third case, so we have three, three four to twelve divided by two six, so it is six minus two that will be four. Okay, so answer will be four here. So what is the important thing? Like while taking the input or declaring any variable in this problem, you have to declare as long long, long long. That is the important thing. Otherwise, you will find some error. So declare this way, we will solve the problem. So hope you understand this solution. Like this video, subscribe this channel. Thank you.